the truth. What is up you guys? Regan Wilkes Autism Productions here. That's why RWAP Regan Wilkes 54 here. That's why and today I've been waiting for this. Today I'm gonna react to Hell of a Boss, Axis, and O's Season 2 Episode 3 by 50 Pop. So I did heard about like four more episodes that coming to make it like seven. This is like the episode seven finale part one from the first season. So I cannot wait to react to this one. So I did saw like all the Hell of a Boss and Has Been Hotel fans been recording this to see what's happening and saw like the spoiler alert of this episode. So anyways, this is a 25 minutes and 8 seconds. So anyways, I'll wish you a link in the description below and don't forget to subscribe and subscribe to Pixie Pop and let's get to it. Warning, the following cartoon contains graphic violence, strong language, sexual scenes. Oh yeah, yeah, I right, keep reading all that. You know, I checked the scale today and it said I lost two pounds this week. Hmm. Well, she doesn't care. I am not fat. Oh. You good? Millie, honey, everything okay? Yeah. You good? Yes. Bumped into an ex. Oh. Oh. He just kept going on about how he has money now. And a bright future. And a bigger cook. Wait, what? Oh. Every time I see his stupid face, I can't help it. I just need to... <laughs> oh. The fuck is all this noise? I got a client. Sorry, sir. I'll get this all clean. What is this? What the? Uh, research. Oh. For science. Let's put it back correctly, okay? I alphabetized them. Okay, so let me get this straight. You don't want us going to Earth at all for this job. Correct. That will Wait, not who's be that? necessary. I'd like to meet you and your whole crew in my estate. Uh, hmm. You want us killing someone in hell? Because I gotta tell you, that ain't exactly our business no more. I'll tell you all about it when you're here. It's in regards to a business venture I'm sure will be very worth your time. Ooh, mm. how ominous. <laughs> Fine, whatever. What's the address? Transportation has already been taken care of. Oh. What the fuck is that? What the helicopter, you stupid. Satan's ass crack. Enough with the walls, Jet. We have a door. Right, I mean, he said that last time in his first season. My research! <laughs> Just some fancy schmuck from greed wanting to do business with us. Uh, sir, I don't think this is a good idea. It'll be fine. Now get your asses moving. <laughs> yeah, get your ass moving. Is this thing safe? Don't worry, we are professionals. Oh no, what the moon land again? Oh. Ugh, I hate this place. Oh yeah, this is your old stomping ground, isn't it, Mox? Yeah, unfortunately. I grew up just over there. Swore I'd never come back and uh uh what what where where are we going? What let's who did you say this meeting was with? I'm not sure. Just some rich somebody or other who wants to discuss biz at his place. And I didn't know there were just sharks there in there. I thought there were only imps and dogs. My boy. Get over here and give your daddy a hug. Daddy. What? I only let Moxie call me that. That's his dad? Unless you pay me. <laughs> Guys, um, <clears throat> this is my father, Crimson. Sir, Crimson? this is my boss, Blitz. And my... Really? I'm his wife. 
And what a beautiful wife you are. Mox, where well, you been hiding this pretty little thing? Oh, I'm sure he would have introduced us eventually. Oh, I'm sure. You gotta be Blitz with the silent O. Oh, yep. Right? Blitz, though. I think I've heard a lot of good things about you and your work. Really? What kind of shit has Moxie been spreading about me? I'll fucking kill you, Moxie! Don't you fucking test me! No, no! From all over. Looks like you're building a bit of a name for yourself here, kid. Really? Huh. Well, I guess it's about time folks recognize my talent. <laughs> <laughs> I like your attitude. Well, I hope you're all hungry. We put together a fabulous dinner for you. Hey, baby. Why haven't I met your pa before? Well, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's just never been a... Hey, you two. Move it before it gets cold. Look, look, Millie, we can talk about it later. So, Briggs, you always been a hitman? Oh, no, not always. No, I was in the circus for a long time. Here with the, when here with the kids. Good money in debt. What are we doing here? Sir, Moxie, I raised you better than that. You know there's no business before dinner. Besides, we're still waiting on one more. Who? What is up, honey? Perhaps? Wait! What? You know him? You remember that ex I was talking about? Looks like I have. Wait, what? That's his ex? How lucky am I? Did you date him too? Yeah. No big deal, but I've usually boned half the people in any room I'm in. Are you fucking kidding me? There's someone who's fucked both of you? It was a long time ago. But I still remember it like it was yesterday. You, a fledgling mafioso. Me, the dashing and extremely sexy muscle. It was like, it was written in stars. I love the remix <laughs> background. the mafia, that's fucking rich. Oh. What the hell? Shit. You've never told me this before. I, I don't really like to talk about this part of my life, but I first saw Chaz at my induction in the family. Our eyes met from across the room, and there was just something about him. <laughs> something that was magnetic. And then they started the war? I can't stop thinking about you, Maxis. Will you love me? Aww. It's been 84 years. Isn't that from that boat movie? Did any of that stuff actually happen? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he skipped over the jizz covered parts. Anyway, things changed when we went on a heist together. Oh. Oh, he dissed him. Oh. So, what are you in for? Okay. Oh, and then he first time uh -oh. met Moxie. Uh, oh, oh, wait, well. just like Not met sure Dolith and fine. Luna. So what you deal, what you do, who'd you diddle? You look like someone who's good with a gun. You look like someone who'd shoot up an office, and I hope you are. So I got a plan to get us out of this dump, but I'm going to need some help. You think you can give me a hand? I need to get out to my daughter. The babysitter will kill Luna. me if I don't get that. Adopted daughter. Once I got out, I never looked back. You good? So, like you said, it was a long time ago. Is 
suppose you want to know why you're here. Yeah, so what gives? I mean, you know we kill people on Earth, right? We don't normally do contracts for locals, so if you want to do business with us, you gotta... I don't want to do business with IMP. Hmm. I want to do business with Moxie. Me? Uh -oh. Yeah, kid. I summoned IMP to be sure you'd show. Because, well, we're bringing Chaz into the family. What? He is not. Since when can just anyone join the family? Come on, right. Mox. You had responsibilities here that I had to pick up once you left. Now Chaz is going to lighten the load. Wait, I thought you always hated his guts. Well, I don't know if I exactly. I mean, they do look a lot you like Striker. A friendless horse fucker and said we lived a sissy lifestyle. Ooh. Yeah, well, I was wrong. You've been gone a long time, Mox. A man can change. And so is Chaz. Yeah, I've grown, matured, and recently came into millions. But, you know, mostly the mature thing. Oh, okay, okay. So the horseless friend fucker over here gets a little moolah, and suddenly it's worth wasting our time over? Well, I'm the whole package, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I got a big dick. What does any of this have to do with Moxie? There's going to be a ceremony tomorrow. Moxie here is Good going morning. to officially release his holdings in the organization. Then you can get back to ignoring your family to your heart's content. Maybe he wouldn't ignore his family if they didn't force him to rub elbows with a no-good shark tooth fuck face. Yay, look, everybody relax. I know tensions have been high tonight. Say, why don't you stay here and get some rest? We'll have the ceremony tomorrow. And then you will be free to leave. I have your rooms all prepared. Yes, sir. Max? A moment, Moxie. Just give me a minute, Millie. I'll be there. Hands off. So, you think you're too good for this family now? What? Come here. I don't understand. You think you're gonna just get to walk away from this family and never come back? You're dead wrong, Mox. Matter of fact, the only thing you're right about is that that obnoxious piss stain can't get made. Not unless he marries in. M marries? But, but who would he... Who do you think? This family needs that money. And it's about time your pathetic ass was useful for something. Sir, I'm already married. I, I can't... You think I give a shit about your stupid beard? Come on, Mox. I even went through the trouble of making the house more to your kind's liking. <laughs> oh, my God. I got to send the, all of that. Oh, my Jesus, Lord. Jesus Christ. Wait, what? What do you think I'm into? What? This is the kind of shit gays like, right? Okay, first oh off, my Dad, God. I'm I got to do the same thing like I did yeah. the, the part at the Happen sick. Hotel pilot. Secondly, I don't know a single person of any sexuality who'd enjoy this. <laughs> There's dicks in the walls. Oh, that's fucking Shut hilarious. up, Brandon Rogers. Look at me, kid. One way or another, you're going to do what I fucking say. Don't cross me. Wow. Who's that? That's mom? That's uncle or what? Divorce. Wow. Just like Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek. Wow. After everything he did? That's mom or what? This be a lesson, Moxie. This 
is what happens when you cross me. Oh my. Now get to bed, Moxie. You have a big day tomorrow. I feel bad for Moxie. Yes, sir. Oh, and Mox. If you ever talk back to me again, you and that pretty little thing you brought here are going home in boxes. Capiche? Yes, sir. And congrats, Gay. Well. Why? How come we aren't? Crimson wants you all to stay in separate rooms. Why, Moxie? It's just one night, Millie. It's okay. Max, are you okay? I'm fine. Please don't worry, sweetie. You know you can tell me anything, right? Yes. Everything's fine. Your partner's Max. It's just my dad. It's okay, really. It'll be over tomorrow. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Good night. Got it. What the? What the? Nice. <laughs> oh, cause it says on backwards. Right, well, done with the place. Ugh. Just get out of here. Come on, Max. We used to have so much fun here. Remember? I'm married, Chaz. And even if I weren't, I would never. Never what? Let me take you to come town again. You are so gross. Just leave me alone. I know what you want most, Moxie Popsy. Moxie. How about a sexually charged musical number? Hey. Love his voice, you though. Always love dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that face. Walnut. Wish that Deadpool would do that same thing with him too. trust by sleeping with their ex especially one who fucked them over the way you did i'll show you all the things they liked in the sack deal <laughs> oh my god like he's doing the same thing as wait is that facebook he's doing the same thing as dollars man oh wow Aww. that's beautiful Oh my lord. Okay, fucker, nobody who's that bad in bed can score two hotties that easily. I know you gotta be hiding something. Steal the car. <laughs> I could have to that. What the? Sorry, babe. You aren't the only junk in my trunk. 
Damn it, that is not a good Uh oh. Hey, hey, the man of the hour. You ready to get started? Hey, where's Blitz? I think I saw him head outside. He said something about needing some fresh air or something. No, <laughs> he's lying. lying. He so put him in the trunk. Be right back, baby. What you looking so glum for, kid? It's your wedding day! Best day of your life! I'm not doing it. What was that? He's I not... couldn't make it out over the sound of you being a whiny bitch! Oh. I said, I'm not doing it, sir. I've spent my whole life being afraid of you, but I'm not giving up the only good thing I've ever had just so you can keep your fragile little sense of control over everything. Ooh. Millie is a good woman. A better woman than I deserve. And there's nothing that scares me more than hurting her. Not even you. I'm leaving, Dad. And if you or Herpes the Clown over here, hey. try to stop me. You'll learn firsthand just how good I've gotten at my job. <laughs> now take care of the others. Oh, Millie. You found me. Who's your friend? Friend? Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh! Damn! Fatality! Oh no. Yeah, 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 don't worry about it. Let's get this thing rolling, eh? Aww! <laughs> you told me all the chairs would be filled! Uh... Oh my god. Satisfied? <laughs> Fuck yes. What is going on? That seductive dickhole is trying to marry Moxie, and he's not even rich! Bye! Oh no. Take Cheswick Herman to be your lawfully wedded. Look at that. He's just so fucking happy to be here. Everything's left down. How are we gonna get in? Nope, it's good there. Buckle up, Millie. We're doing a shred. Ooh. Oh. oh. We made it. <laughs> she just left his ass. Hey, check his car. He just played you like a fucking rube. <laughs> Later, losers. He did? We're married, bit. Now we all fuck the same guy. 
Are you sure? Oh wow! That was really cool. That's really legit. Like seriously, that's really cool. I didn't know that Moxie had a boyfriend. I mean, long story, but I, I kind of feel bad for Moxie about his backstory. How it's before like he, his ex-boyfriend just yeeted himself, just like can't see him again before he met, met Millie, Blitz, and all of that. And I know this, yeah, I had to censor those stuff, like, for real. I had to do the censoring of those parts. And in the fight scene of Millie versus thing, the, those guys, the shark guys, want to marry Moxie. And that part where she's just lapped Moxie's booty. I mean, it's kind of really funny and just really cool. And I can't believe it because <laughs> I don't know why the, the part was funny about with Blitz making out with <laughs> Moxie's ex-boyfriend for some reason, but I think it's really funny. I love it. So yeah, so if you guys know, hit like, favorite comments down below, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications, and then I'll see y'all later for another Hello Boss Season 2 reaction. And peace out! Mm -hmm.